I, I'll I'm be not, honest I mean, with you. I'm I didn't hear the run it. come out because yeah. I was working on the on right. the evaluation. Right. Had I heard it come out, I would have told them not even to bother come down here. Right. Right. I, I'm, I'll I'm be not, honest I mean, with you. I'm I didn't hear the run come out because I was working on the on the evaluation. Right. Had I heard it come out, I would have told them not even to bother come down here. Right. Right. They yeah. would have to articulate something that you were doing inappropriate or, or illegal. Correct. Okay. And I see you're on the sidewalk. That's where you were when I got here. Right. I can't say where you were when they got here. I'm right. assuming you were in the same spot? Same spot. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The, so, the, the so here's the thing, guys. When you're dealing with law enforcement in the United States, it's important that you always film the police because it is your right to do so. In this video, you're about to see these officers try to identify this man. And the fact is, you need to know your rights. There's nothing wrong with filming law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm out, guys. Peace. Block my shot. <laughs> no implosions here today. So the fact of the matter is, it is not illegal to film from a public sidewalk. Remember, he is a he's on a public taxpayer funded sidewalk, which means he has the right to film from that sidewalk, and there's nothing they can do about it. But of course, cops are gonna lie. That's what they do. Get back to the video. Good morning. Huh? I said good morning. I'm sorry? I said I, I said good morning. Good morning. So what's up? You videotaping? Yes, of what course. What are you videotaping? Anything I can see from the public sidewalk. Okay. For what reason? Um, who, who are you? I'm sorry? I'm the manager here. So I'm curious why you're videotaping my carriers and... The manager of what? Of this station. Are you a federal employee? I am. So if you're going to interact with the public, is your name the manager? Is that how you would refer to yourself to the judge? What are you doing here? Who are you, sir? Are you not going to identify yourself as a federal employee talking to the public? I mean, no, that should be in your I policy. I asked you what you were doing over here videotaping my employees. Well, I want to know who you are and make sure that you have the proper credentials for me to have to answer you. If you're okay. a federal well, employee... I can call the local police and have them come out here and join us. Um, again, I've said this before. So you're going to you you can video you can call Bugs Bunny. I mean, well, I, I, do I don't I don't like care. To to well, yes, I'm going to continue to film. I have no idea who you are. You won't identify yourself. You have a wonderful day. This? It's a it's a camera. No, they actually call the police on me right now for filming employees that work for the public. Do what? Uh, so I can see how the uh, federal employees, the employees that we pay with our tax dollars, so we can see how the federal employees that we pay with our tax dollars conduct their business. I mean, if you owned employees, wouldn't you want to check up on them and see how they're doing? That's simply what I'm doing. I'm conducting a First Amendment audit of the uh, post office here to make sure that the uh, federal employees that we that we employ are doing the job in an alert and professional manner for the public. And uh, they seem to think that me standing on public property and filming is somehow illegal. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to, if you don't want to talk to the cops, they're going to be here any minute. Oh, shit. I ain't worried about no cops. Well, neither am I. That's why I'm going to hang out because I don't want to run. And then I'm just going to get tased or shot, right? So I'm just going to hang out. So here's the thing, guys. The police are not your friends. Okay, this guy is right. If he runs, they might do something to him. So that's why if you know your rights, just stay put. Let the cops come. Stand your ground and know your rights. Learn the Constitution of the United States. Remember, guys, the police are not your friends and they cannot be trusted under any circumstances. Okay, these cops are not your friends. Now, that guy that approached him could be that lady's husband, that lady's boyfriend, somebody that works there. He could have been an employee. He could have been undercover. A lot of the times where people approach you and ask you what you're doing, 
Most of the time, they're undercover for the actual establishment itself, the, the facility itself, or maybe they're just a, a curious bystander. But for the most part, if people are approaching you when you're filming a, a taxpayer-funded building, they're most likely undercover. Because nobody, no regular person is going to approach you while you're doing something, you know, like this. So, get back to the video. Remember, always film the police. Have a wonderful day. A badge number, sir. 1873, sir. We got a call. Who, who? Let me tell you why. I'm speaking, sir. No, who are you, sir? You, I'm not speaking, sir. I'm going to tell you why we're here, okay? sir. I'm May will you. you please, according to your code 2.1.12, you're supposed to identify yourself by employee name and badge number, as well as the PE number. So may I please have your name and badge number, sir? I'd like to know whom is okay. contacting me. I'm investigating this, this call, sir. Sir, are you going to be in violation of your sir? code? So you want to go ahead and do that? Sir, can I ask you why you're, why you're, sir? No, you can't leave yet. Yeah, uh, am I being detained yes, or am I, for, for what crime? This, this for what, for, is that a, is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Is that a, is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Suspicious activity, misdemeanor, is it, is it, is it, is it a misdemeanor? This is, sir, Mr. Aguilar, this is, this is, this is, 101 police procedure. Okay. Am I being detained for a crime? Right now you're being. Am, am I being detained if for a crime? Let me speak, sir. I will tell you. What I'm wanting going. to know what crime it is. Just keep trying to talk over me, okay? Okay. Will you please tell me what okay. crime? I didn't say it was a crime. I okay, but but you detained me. You've detained me. But but you can only detain me when there's a crime. You can only detain me when there's a crime. Other people. You can only detain me when there's a crime. Can you tell me why you're why you're recording? You can only detain me when there's a crime, sir. What crime have I committed? Please look. Can you? I'd like to speak with the supervisor. Okay, because he won't identify himself for one, by name and badge number. You were kind. You are not. If an officer doesn't want to identify himself, then he's just a civilian, bro. He has no legal right to touch you. He has no ability to go hands on for any reason. He didn't want to identify himself. He didn't want to identify. He's smiling because he thinks it's funny. But in all reality, he doesn't want to identify himself. That could be used against him in court. So get back to the video and enjoy. He is here under, is he, is he, here? I'm going to go this way, sir. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Am, am I being detained? Am, 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 I, am I being detained? I don't care. Am I being detained or am I free to go? Do you want a sergeant or not? Am I being detained or am I free to go? Because I need to go get this guy's car number and license plate. Well, do you want to Am I being detained? I'm going to take that as a no, I'm not being detained. I'm going to go get his plate number. I'll be with you in a minute. But remember, they want your ID. They don't want to identify, but they want your ID. That's the crazy part about all of this. They want your ID, but they don't want to identify. 11186. Are you still going to be in failure to identify, sir? I will file a complaint. I see that you can talk. You were talking to him. Are you not going to identify yourself, sir? Okay. My name and badge number? Okay. Plate number 19351. 19351. Car number 170. I have cars number 073. Sir, I'm going to ask you again will you please identify yourself?
to you to tell me that. I've been doing that all morning. Now, will you tell me who your backup name is? Now, will you tell me who is who your backup is? Because I need to know his name and badge number. Par, par his code. I still want a sergeant here because he's in failure to ID. He is failure to ID to the public when asked. It's in your code. I even gave you the code number. Please get your sergeant here for this man's failure to ID. Name and badge number, sir. I'm not going to ask you again. Will you please get your sergeant out here? I'm, I'm requesting are, a I, sergeant. I, I guess I'm, I'm confused, sir. You, 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 you want me to do this for you, but you want to over speak over me. You want to walk away. You want to do what, what you want to do, but then you request, you're demanding things of me. You're a public servant, sir. I understand that. Okay, you work but, for the public. You work for me. But, you, but, you're de but you're demanding things of me, but you won't work with me here. I am working with you. I stayed. I, st I even told you where I was going. I didn't leave. I told you I was going to go get his plate number because he's failure to identify. Par his code. Par the handbook. This, this cannot be how the police interact with the public. These officers, they don't want to identify themselves, but they want him to ID. You see what I'm saying? That's hypocritical. You're going to get a cop that doesn't want to identify himself, but he wants you to give him your ID? You ever had those that interactions? Because I have, and it's really annoying, dude. Because it's like, damn, you're a cop. You don't want to identify yourself. You're receiving taxpayer-funded dollars for your salary, and you don't want to identify yourself? <laughs> so you do speak. Okay. May I have your name and badge number, sir? I appreciate your time. I'm good. Am I going to get to speak to a sergeant? Yeah, I'll wait. I'm saying you can go. I'm he's coming out of the way now. So, no worries. He'll be, here, he'll be here in a few. I'm not sure where he's coming from, though, but he'll be here in a few. Is it your policy to ID yourself, sir? You did a very good job. I appreciate your professionalism. I'm sorry if I seemed a little anxious, but this man won't ID himself. You can understand where he's carrying a gun and he won't ID. Even if he is your backup, he's still in failure to ID. To the public. Now, if you want to go talk to him, that's fine. Okay. Is that guy going to be able to get out? Oh, you know what? I better my car. <laughs> the crazy part about all this is that the cops, they do this on a regular basis. This is normal. They don't want to identify themselves, but yet they're willing to arrest you if you don't give ID. It's very hypocritical. And it's unprofessional in itself because you work for the members of the public. And people are like, well, you demanded things of me as a police officer. You are a public servant. You are funded by our tax dollars. I'm not funded by your tax dollars. He's not funded by your tax dollars. He has the right to film you and has the right to demand things because you are a public employee of the city or whatever part, whatever part of government you are in. The fact is, these cops don't care, man. They just don't care, bro. And the problem is, when you're dealing with law enforcement like this, they just don't respect your rights. It's very ignorant. If they do this on camera, imagine what else they do off camera, guys. This is a normal behavior because they don't respect our rights. They don't respect our rights. They don't. They don't care. They don't respect us. They don't respect you. They don't respect anybody. The fact is, these cops are wrong. And people always say that, you know, you, you, you're starting stuff. No, we are out here exercising our rights to show you guys that these cops are corrupt. They're bad. They're, they're, they're just horrible, man. And it's disgusting to see officers not willing to identify themselves when they're supposed to. It's really annoying. Like, it, 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 I see it. Now I'm starting to see how the cops feel when you do ID refusals and you don't give them your ID. Now I'm starting to see what they feel like. Got himself, he'll, be, he'll be with you here momentarily, and he told us to go back in service. So if you want to wait for him, he, I told him where you're at, and he'll be here in a second, okay? Well, I, I'm not so sure about that. Okay. Right here, right here. 
about 2-1.12 okay. rules and regulations. Did, did I not do that? This, this, no, this man. This okay. man, he's the one who needs to stay because okay. he's in failure to ID. Well, we're both assigned to this run. Okay. Okay. You said it'll be here in a little bit. So it's, it's, so, it's, so it's okay for him just to run away. We were so, told, so, so, we were, so we were, now we were told to leave. So now, now I have to go down and I have to file a complaint instead of it being handled uh, okay. right here, right now. So, so he he really did just leave, okay. and he's not going to identify. Well, I said Sergeant Battis will be here in a minute. He'll answer any questions you have, okay? A any questions? Like I want to know his name and badge number. I got his car number, his plate number. Like I that. said, you were very, you like I said, you you were very respectful, and I do appreciate it. But I, but I don't understand how that how, how the foreign police department can work like that. Well, like I said, Sergeant Battershell, he'll be here in a minute. Um, and he'll talk to you about it. He's, he's asked us to leave, we're back in service. So I'm no longer being detained, as you said. You were never detained. You, you said I was detained. You were never detained. I, I said you were being I said you were being questioned because I want to know why. Because you're recording a federal building and people are recording people's houses. But is is any idiot illegal? No, I said I, I, said, I, said, okay. I said it wasn't. Okay. You asked if it was a misdemeanor or felony. I said it's neither. No, being detained. Oh no. No, you weren't uh, being being suspicious. Be code forty eight. Is that is that a misdemeanor or a felony? It's neither. It's just being suspicious but, activity. But I was being just detained. Like if you were to call someone and say, "Hey, there's someone in front of my house," I'm not sure why he's out there. Or right. He or she's out there. Right. You know, you call us in as a citizen. We have the obligation to come out and investigate and see why this person's in your in front of your house. Right. 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 Same way we're doing here. Uh, well, if, Somebody if, called in and said you were out here recording their house at the post office. Just investigating and see what's going on. I didn't say you committed a crime. I didn't say you did anything wrong. We're just trying to figure out why you're right here doing it. Well, so I said it's well, it's well within your right to do so, so we're right. letting you go on. Right. You were and never handcuffed. You were never put in any... Well, that, that's never, not part of being detained. I'm saying you were never... Did you walk around freely? Yes, you did. You uh, walked around here. You said you were going to go walk, go, go see a car. Right. You did. Right. And that's why I'm doing it. Okay. DHS memo says I can record federal buildings. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, had that gentleman been okay with the idea, I would have given you this straight away. Okay. Had he, been, had he been more cordial, had he well, ID'd himself? It wasn't the post office that called. That's fine. It was on the, the private citizen. Well, that's fine. I mean, I, I, so. I, I hope you can educate the public that it's not a crime. I mean, they don't stop the Google car. You don't pull over the Google car. No. It's a weird looking car, though. I've seen it. Yeah. All right, sir. Have a, have a good day. Okay? Happy Thanksgiving to you, okay? Yep. Happy Thanksgiving. You know what time you'll be here? He said he's on his way. He's coming from the police station. Which was about ten minutes ago, so yeah. he should be here in a little bit. I okay. told him right where you were at. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know, like I said, I'm not I'm not trying to conceal myself at all. I'm highly visible. Oh well, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, okay. I mean I, I mean I'm not hiding in the bushes. I'm not trying to be nefarious. I mean I came out when it was daylight. So I mean. Yeah, it's just I think I think you can understand this odd activity. If you're out here recording, you know. And they're out here recording. Well, they're recording for their security. Well, so am I. What are you securing yourself about? Well, it's for my safety and their accountability. Uh, so it is for security. It's my safety and their accountability, just like, just like it is for you. I'm recording for, for my safety and your accountability. Okay. You know, you were very nice. Well, I appreciate you, that, sir. You know, you identified yourself, and I do appreciate that. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to come by yeah. good officers, but when officers don't ID it and it's in their regulations, I'm going to have the regulation in my pocket. Um, I, I just don't feel that the cops should just run around here like it's the wild, wild west. And, uh, and and do what they want yeah. and conduct All themselves right. in a way that that's unprofessional yeah. okay well have a better day okay you yes sir here in a minute. thank you because it is your first member right to do so. I'm about to skip past a lot of this, but the original links are in the description. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you doing today? Good, you? I'm, I'm doing well. What can I do for you? Uh, well, you just, I just had a couple interactions with a couple of your officers here on a, I guess it would be a Code 48. Uh, um, they were very respectful, except one of your officers was in failure to ID. He would not ID himself. Okay. Uh, I, I, I so asked him call internal affairs several, several, several times. Them, okay. Well, I just wanted to know who he is. Um, you'll take that up with internal affairs. Okay. I mean, I even cited the code in uh, 2 1.12. My name is Sergeant Toddy of Battleship, Fort Lincoln, Department 1610. Yes, 
Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Anything else I can do for you today? No, I just wanted to know who the officer was that came here and was in failure to ID. If he was one of your troops, I'd he is just... one of my troops. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I, I I get that. I understand that. That's why you were called. I was just simply Did asking. Did you not read his uh, name uh, name tag? Uh, he was very far away, and it was hard to uh, to get a good read on his name. I don't remember what it was. Okay. I, I don't know that, if that was... information was there for you, though, right? Uh, if I was able to read. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't have any way of knowing whether or not I could read. Thank you for your time, Sergeant. Correspondent with Indiana News and Information. Okay, so here's the deal. Did they tell you why they were out here? They said that a citizen had called, said that I was filming the federal building here as well as their homes. Okay. Um, and is that a violation? I'm not the police. It's not a violation, right? Exactly. Well, so why do you do these things? I'm, I'm just curious. I'm just asking. Citizen to citizen, not police officer to you. I'm just... I'm curious. Police accountability, okay. as well as well as government official accountability. Okay. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean I'm going to reach in my, I'm going to reach in my pocket here. Yeah, that's no problem. And uh, pull out a piece of paper. I'm just curious. Yeah. That's why I'm yeah. asking. Yeah. No. 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 I, no you I, called me down here to talk to you, so yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. curious. It's a DHS memo. Uh huh. That says uh, I have the right to record federal buildings. I could even walk into the building, and in, in the foyer, and 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 film the building. Um, well, I'll be honest with you. You don't even. You're on a public sidewalk. So the fact of the matter is, this officer is trying to stick up for his cops not identifying himself. It's very crazy how these officers think that they can do whatever they want. Now, the sergeant did agree that the man has the right to film. He's not breaking the law, which that's a good thing. But the fact is, imagine what these cops do off camera. Understand that these cops are not your friends. They are not your friends. They don't care about you. I always tell you guys, you need to know your rights because if you don't know your rights, then you don't have rights. And these guys will take full advantage of you. Best believe that. They want the ID. They want to run you for warrants. And if you have warrants, they'll put you in jail. And if you don't have warrants, they'll let you go. I'll see it. And the one officer did not. But, but here's, the, here's the thing. Yes. Did you know those officers would more than likely get called down here today? No. I mean, I, I Has it happened before? A couple times. But you didn't anticipate or expect an officer to be called down here today? It, I, I, I'll I'm be not, honest I mean, with I'm you. I didn't hear the run it. come out because yeah. I was working on the on right. the evaluation. Right. Had I heard it come out, I would have told them not even to bother come down here. Right. Right. They yeah. would have to articulate something that you were doing inappropriate or, or illegal. Correct. Okay. And I see you're on the sidewalk. That's where you were when I got here. Right. I can't say where you were when they got here. I'm right. assuming you were in the same spot? Same spot. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The, so the, the postal but, lady came out and wouldn't identify herself. She just said she's the manager of the building. I have no idea what that means. Well, and I don't know what their yeah. policies are either. Uh, you know, they're a postal employee. I don't know that they have to, to identify or not. Federal I don't employees, know. they do. The, the memo said so. Oh. Um, That's news to me. I yeah. couldn't tell you. Yeah, the DH, DHS memo released it in 2010 uh, about about filming on federal property, especially post offices as well. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm allowed to go into the foyer lobby area, mm -hmm. anywhere like that. Even the, you I mean, I go downtown dressed exactly like this and walk into the city county building and mm -hmm. walk to the counter filming. I mean, which is which is totally legal because in the lobby area. It's a uh, public space, right? Right. Yes. Yeah, talk to Sergeant Johnson. Mm -hmm. That's down there, and, and I don't know if he's part of Internal Affairs, but. He's the one who kind of set me straight on how to get the policies and, and where to go to get the, the, the stuff I needed for, for public. Which, which officer did not identify himself? Let me ask you. And now I'll talk to you again as a police officer. I mean, it's kind of been a little bit of yeah. Amos? I, I, I think. I, I, I'm not sure. I did, um, that's the one that did or did not? Did not. How do you know his name? I think it was on there. I don't know. It was kind of covered up. Well, Amos is his name. So okay. you saw his name correctly. Okay. So he identified himself. Not by badge number. Not according to the policy. My badge number's on there. No. That's not. 
Okay. Well, and and and, and, it, and it actually says in the policy that I mean, I've, if you want, I can show you the policy. Four twenty and one hundred six. I'm sorry. I can even show you. The you policy. don't have to show me the policy. I mean, I, mean, I, I just got it from from Internal Affairs. Yeah. I mean, I, and I took a picture of it so that way I would have. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll I'll be honest with you. I'll I'm going to talk to him. Okay. We'll we'll talk to all of our officers. Okay. Right. And revisit these policies just because it's on paper doesn't mean it's up here all the time you know what i mean sometimes we need to revisit things okay we're human right no. just like you're human right right so we'll, we'll revisit these things and, and just cover them but but my only thing is don't provoke the police into doing things we got better things to do than be out here addressing things like this no i agree you agree i agree yeah not all the because time that's about here. police accountability too right correct because you would be wasting our time and taxpayers' resources, although you're a taxpayer, right? No. And we don't want to do that, no. right? right? All right, thank you so much. Right. Take you, care. Sir. And I did go in and talk to them, and okay. none of them claimed to have called. Okay, yeah, I was so finished I up here. Yeah, I've got I've got all the footage I need. I just wanted to get uh, vehicles coming in and out and the big one coming in and out, so okay. I'm good for the day. I appreciate your time, sir. All right, take care. Thank you. All original links are in the description. Remember, fill in the police is your right and it's recommended if you film law enforcement in the united states always film the police check out the community tab at 3 p.m central time i'm out guys peace out and uh yeah have a wonderful day bye bye now